Sister Linda, where you at, beautiful? Hi, I did not. Um, greetings all. Greetings, King. I did not mean to hit that, but I'm here. I didn't do that. What's going on in Baltimore, sister? Uh, um, gentrification, stage one. Stage one. What's stage one? Break it down. I'm tearing down of the um, projects, rebuilding around the city. Um, a lot of people think it's a bad thing. I didn't mean to hit that. Let me um, cut on the light so you don't think I'm being weird. Okay. Turn the light on, gorgeous. I'm in the bed. You in the bed? All right. Don't be showing no body parts. I just want a little cleavage. Cut it out. Okay. So is gentrification a bad thing? Why is it a bad thing? Why does black people look at it like, oh, they're gentrifying, they're making things too expensive for us to live, when um, Baltimore is like 75% um, uh, full of vacant housing, the houses are vacant. Why gentrification, gentrification, am I saying it right, a bad thing? I think it looks good. I don't like seeing ran down housing, houses and boarded up buildings and abandoned businesses and but but it runs, runs us out though gentrification is about hiking up the cost of living and forcing african people onto the streets but if something is built back better wouldn't it and, and from and it was an uh, old building that was but up there from it's, being, seven. it's being built back better for who and at whose expense Urban renewal is nothing but Negro removal. Urban renewal is nothing but Negro removal. Why, why do you say that? Because all black people can't, um, some, some black people can afford it. Some, the operative word, Sister Linda, is some black people can afford it. Middle class, upper class, and elites but working class and poverty class Africans cannot afford to live in those neighborhoods. And because we work for white people, they know what our incomes are. So what they do is they engineer the cost of the real estate and the real estate tax, and they make it just high enough where it is beyond our reach of being able to afford it and that's how they push us out of our neighborhoods the banks are working along with the developers to remove blacks urban renewal is a cold word for negro removal okay i i understand i do understand i am from dc and i can't afford to live there so i do understand but you asked me what's going on in Baltimore, me, so uh, you know, I saw something where they said that uh, they were selling houses. The city has a program in Baltimore where they're selling houses for a dollar or something like that, or is that just a scam? It's a scam, it's not flat out. Oh, here's a dollar. No, it's like a whole bunch of things that come along with it. Um, you still have to have a certain amount of um credit, you still have to have a certain amount of employment history, you still have to have a certain amount of money sitting in the bank. It's not just here, I have a dollar, no. It's just like a um, a scammy. But it is it's, it is really low. I'll say like $25,000 you can get a house. Okay. Now, I also heard, you know, I'm a fan of... You can get a fixer-upper. You can get a fixer-upper. Mm. Got you. Uh, Gervonta Tank Davis, you know who he is, right? I do. Okay, I'm a big fan of, of Javante Tank Davis, Tank Davis, as long as he's not bunny hopping. But they said that he was trying to buy back his block. He bought back his block and somebody set one of the houses on fire or something. Yeah, one, I of, just, one of the houses going on fire, but nobody set it on fire. You have to understand, like I said, it's like 75% of vacant homes here in Baltimore because Baltimore is a um an import city. Like we're a harbor town. So there was a lot of um factories and everything that was um taken out so black people couldn't thrive because they was thriving without college degrees. So when they figured out oh black people are buying homes and houses and putting their kids through college without degree you know degrees let's take these factories out of here like they did detroit so 
because it's a factory town, they took the factories out. You have a whole bunch of vacant homes. This is this started like in the late 70s and stuff. So you have a lot of vacant homes. So when it gets cold, you have the crackheads and things like that. They go in and they, they make little fires in these abandoned homes. They smoke and crack. They're trying to stay warm and shit. And that's what the fire was from. Nobody like poor gasoline. Let's set the block on fire. No, they just happen to be on the block that he bought. There's fires popping all around the city all the, every day. Uh, 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 okay. Okay. Um. So I just wanted to um talk about that. I didn't mean I didn't mean to hit the but I swear to God, because I was in the dark just listening. I want to say hello to everybody that's here, and I want to wish everybody a happy new year. Also, I sent you an inquiry um that you um have yet to respond to, and that was about about five days ago. Uh, you, you text me, or you send it as a uh. I, I texted. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. I texted. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have money to spend. Okay, gorgeous. <laughs> we, on it. we on it. Say it again. I said we on it. We gonna take care. Absolutely. Thank you so much for the information you give the community. I see you all over. I see you trending. I'm so proud of you. Finally, they're listening to you, and I just want to say I'm here for it. Appreciate you, gorgeous. We gonna talk soon. Happy 2024. You too, babe. All right, sister. Let it be blessed, gorgeous. Yes, sir. I want to say thank you to my Fort Worth, Texas family who came out last night, had a ball in Fort Worth. And I want to thank my Phoenix, Arizona family who came out tonight. I want to thank my Phoenix, Arizona family who came out tonight. I want to thank my Phoenix, Arizona family for coming out tonight. I enjoyed it. Fort Worth was great. Phoenix was great. Saturday, Detroit. Where my Detroit family at? 13th annual Kwanzaa tour, King Kong Consciousness. What's poppin', family? I see we got a lot of Negroes in the conscious community, the YouTube and struggle streamers, trying to benefit themselves from, you know, my presence and popularity within the movement. You know, a lot of dusty Negroes trying to rebirth themselves off of my name. I see y'all, but I'm not going to waste my time mentioning you. They just want me to mention a name so they can get some likes, views, and clicks. I'm not doing it this year. I've outgrown that right now. I've outgrown that. My lower back is hurting a little bit. I need me a lower back massage. Where my Detroit massage therapist at? Where my Phoenix, Arizona massage therapist at? I might got to hit up the massage therapist in Phoenix, Arizona tomorrow. We got the black female Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona massage therapist. Detroit, Michigan massage therapist, the lower back. Lower back. Black queens forever, snow bunnies never, my brother. Black queens forever, snow bunnies never, my brother. <clears throat> Black queens forever, snow bunnies never, my brother. Ugh. Had some good food tonight. Shout out to Sister Shalanda, Brother Henry and Company for treating me to dinner. Shout out to the Grassroots Bookstore. Good job today. What we got? Got some food right now. Mm. How much for a feature on your next album? We can negotiate that. How we doing? Beautiful. Your phone freezing up, beautiful. Oh my God. Don't run. Hello. Don't run. Don't be scared of Big Papa. You said don't run. How we doing, sister? Let me see your face. I'm doing baby. good. It's so good to meet you. Likewise. What's your name, sister? My name is Jade. And where you based that, sister Jade? Cleveland, Ohio. I love Cleveland, Ohio, Sister J. That's one of my big cities right there. Really? Yeah. When I first blew up and took over the Black consciousness movement worldwide, Cleveland 
Ohio. Mm -hmm. the first places I ever. <clears throat> Cleveland, wow. our first six cities. Wow. So okay. Talk to me to Cleveland. Here's what I'm going to ask you, Sister mm -hmm. Jay. Mm -hmm. We're seeing all these reports about black children being kidnapped in, in Ohio. Yes. Yes, in Ohio, but specifically Cleveland. 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 Can you give us any insight? Have you seen anything? Have you heard anything? What can you tell us that we are not? learning on the news about the abduction and sex trafficking of black women girls in particular in cleveland what can you tell us well i will not lie to you in the specific area that i am in right now there are there aren't any there aren't any children that i have heard of personally that have been missing but it says on the news that it's specifically in inner city cleveland but i haven't seen too much of them you know um or i don't really know the families but through the internet i do see it a lot you know for the most, most part but um everything that you see on, on the internet is actually accurately correct okay so you don't know anyone who no you don't know if you have been abducted or you don't know of any adults who have had their children abducted not anyone that i know personally no okay 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 so what are the biggest challenges for black folks in cleveland what, what what do cleveland need to work on you tapped out okay no problem hey how are we doing i'm good how are you when happy kwanzaa until you go gorgeous where, where you based that in the world Boston. Angeles, California. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona right now. All right, we right next door. Yes, ma'am. And I will be in Sacramento on the 18th of January, in Antioch on the 19th of January, in Oakland on the 20th of January. Okay, that, that was going to be my question um, when you were coming to Cali, but you know, Northern and Southern California are two different <laughs> states in my mind. Yes, ma'am. You ain't lying. Right, night and day, yes. night and day. <laughs> so I just wanted to get on here to kind of, that was the question, when are you coming to LA? And also, do you know what's going on out here oh. with our own uh, gentrification issues and just um, the homelessness? How bad is the homelessness in Los Angeles for African people? How bad is the gentrification and how bad is the uh latino racism that i'm hearing about out there so i will, will say this um because i love, love my my brown brothers and sisters mm -hmm. everybody is not on that racial thing but um you know it's the plot of the system to have us against each other and some of them feed into it and some of them don't but i just feel like anywhere in a city where you have imported um a certain population to undermine you know the black people is going to be tension so i wouldn't say that you know i can't really i don't see it on a, a daily basis but i do see it in certain parts of the city it's just like microaggressions okay and and systematic um racism um i'll give you an example we have a radio station out here called power 106 that station um plays all hip-hop music they got their popularity by playing hip-hop music and they never want to hire black people i don't know if you know who big boy is you know who big boy is outcast um not from outcast he's a radio personality based out here in la he's really tight with snoop dogg whatever so he was on power 106 for a long time they fired him uh there were protests um saying like oh oh you know you don't hire black people and that quietly was swept under the rug so i just feel like um how do i want to word this i just feel like the people people out here are dormant and oppressed black people are dormant and oppressed about 
like certain issues and they're not as proactive as I've seen in the past or in other cities. So we do have a really big problem out here. For example, as far as gentrification, I feel like racism in general, we're hit from like all directions, right? So it's never overt. It's always covert out here in Los Angeles. And that would just like, you know, opportunities, nepotism, when it comes to housing, there was on the news, this was, this made, I don't know if it made national news, but it's been on the news all over the internet. We have a black mayor of the city named Karen Bass, and she was um, criticized for not doing enough for the homeless people there was a black woman that had two children and she her baby died under the freeway because she was not able to get you know um any assistance any homeless assistance so what they're alleging is that because of the nepotism that's taking place and because we're a smaller population i think we're about eight percent of the population out here in la that um the resources aren't going to they're going to people of color but just not us right mm -hmm. That's been really big in the news. And I just think we need someone like you. Um, I think we have a Black Lives Matter out here. We have like um, the new Black Panthers out here, but I don't really know what they're doing in the way of, you know, like bringing awareness to the plight of African Americans in this city. Okay. Now, what about our level of organization as a community are we organized are we just talking in la is there mobilization uh, is there movement on the ground or are we just passively accept what's being done to us i think we passively accept to to a degree we just have a lot of disorganization within our own culture we have black people from you know, different parts of the di diaspora. We have a lot of Belizeans. We have a lot of Africans. We just have people that really don't align with, you know, what our struggle is. I feel like um, there's a lot of infighting as far as, okay, like we have Karen Bass as the, as the mayor, right? She's connected to one of the biggest churches out here. I think it's Los Angeles. Huh? of los angeles as a black woman. yes as a black woman but they're you know accusing her of being a talking head so i don't really know what initiatives are that you know are taking place out here but i just feel like on the west coast in general there's just not enough awareness there's not enough mobilization there's not enough unity um and it's kind of on the hush hush because i actually love california but i just feel like black people get exploited out here the most right so this is hollywood this is tinsel town so people are going to do what they need to do um to align with the powers that be and also you know um play along to get along okay okay thank you for that insight queen that was a good education there. good education i'm gonna keep you posted on my next visit to la do you have my cell number i don't have have your cell number <laughs> it down because I want you to text my name so once I have an LA date I can send you the flyer. okay basically I'm just encouraging you and begging you and asking you to um, do some do some work out here get connected with some people out here I can try to connect you with some people I think were you gonna speak out here and then they canceled your your uh, no I've, I've spoken out there the last time I was out there two years ago i did a four stop tour i spoke in san diego okay. i spoke in lamar park yes at, that that's the epicenter of black culture out here yeah i've spoken in lamar park a few times um but yeah i was there about two years ago i got a pretty strong support base in la yeah i would love to have have you come back out here i you know and talk to the people i do poetry I'm an educator, but go ahead and give me your uh, 215 215 989 uh -huh. 9858. 
9858. Yep. Okay. Have a blessed new year. You too, Queen. All right. Thank you okay. for your time. Be safe. Okay. Now. Tap in season. Give us an update on your city. Tap in season. Mama. Give us Hello. Give us an update on your city. Good. Tap in season. Mama. How we doing? Good. Hey. Oh, look at that beautiful little baby. All right. Where you based that, Queen? Baltimore. Baltimore. Talk to me about Baltimore. What's going on in Baltimore? What's the black situation in Baltimore? Um, I think a lot of kids here are a little lost. They probably need some type of like organization, um, stuff like that. It's they ready for war, but um, they need like a lot of organization in Baltimore. Like it's it's crazy here. The situation black, black women in Baltimore. Men hate us. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of why, men hate us. Why, I don't know why. Why you say the brothers of Baltimore hate the sisters? Because they, they say it, they show it. Um, you know, not not just dating outside of um, you know, not just you know them dating other women or whatever. It's the stuff that they say. They tell us. They they say it. They come out straight out and say it. It's hot of black women, you know, we don't, we talk too much. We don't know how to shut the F up, <laughs> stuff like that, so. Mm. How do you think we can make that better? I don't know. I, I don't know. That's what I want to know. I don't know. I mean, I don't have any men, like, black men saying like they hate me personally. I'm just saying like I hear it a lot. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. What's the system Baltimore? Public schools. Public school. Well, right now, I know right now I'm moving back to Anne Arundel County, but Baltimore is, is not good. Because my daughter, she's in Baltimore County right now. But um, you know, I noticed like the change since she moved, since we moved out here to Baltimore County and she started going to school here. She's been having like a lot of issues. Um, because like a lot of kids in this area are, are like exposed to different things. Mm -hmm. Um that she's not used to in schools that she went to in like Howard County and Anne Arundel County. Mm -hmm. So, Mansa, <laughs> you wanna, cause he wanna stay up. This is Mansa, this this little boy right here. What you do? He's the one. In the morning, Mansa, I'ma get you. <laughs> <laughs> he don't care. <laughs> he don't care. Yeah, you can go in there with that guy. <laughs> Thanks for tapping in with us, sister. I appreciate it. All right, right peace. <laughs> Bless. Right. You see. Tap in season. Who tapping in with, with a black city report? Who tapping in with a black city report? Who tap who tapping in with a black black city report? Bro, Dr. Umar, How we doing? look, I'm a huge fan, bro. I'm a huge fan. You, like, changed my life in so many ways. Like, you, you changed the way I view, like, just, like, the world. You know what I'm saying? Just, like, completely overall. But I need your help. You based that. Where you based that? You said what? Where you based that? Oh, I'm, I live in Washington. Washington State or Washington, D.C.? Uh, Washington State. I live in uh, Bremerton. It's pretty. How pretty. far is it from Seattle? From Seattle, it's like an hour, like a quick little like ferry ride. Okay, okay. What's yeah. going on here without people? I just need your help. I need your help. Look, I got a friend. I he's like he's black. He's like tall, six two, but bro, he's stuck on white women. And I be trying to tell him. I be trying to tell him like, bro, white women ain't the move. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's black queens forever, snow bunnies never. But he just he don't want, he don't want to listen. And like I I just need your help. Like what do I tell him? What do I do? How do I how do I fix this? You might can't say. Brother, you, you you might have to release him to the Snow Bunny Brigade. For real, is he too far gone? It all depends. If he don't want to come back home, then we got to let him go. Damn, I don't know. It's like I want to save him. That's the thing, cause like this is like this is like one of my best friends. You know, this is like this is my dog, but he just he don't listen. He don't listen. You know what I'm saying? 
Well, mm -hmm. I hope he wake up soon before they catch him in the Me Too. He don't want to catch no Me Too. What's the Me Too? What does that mean? It was when they, you know, they set you up for sex abuse allegations and all kind of stuff like that. But I'm saying, bro, and like, if he falls into that trap, it's like, I don't know what to do. Because, like, I warned him, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. He just, like, he's just, he's a bunny hopper. And, like, I don't know what to do. It's like, because, like, this is my dog. We've been friends about, like, 10 years. But he's just, he's just stuck on these white women. Oh, he might overcome it. He might overcome it. But you can't save him, though. If he don't want to be saved, you're not going to be able to save him, King. You might got to release him to the snow bunnies. Got you, bro. Oh, my God. I just, I don't know. I've been like, I don't know. I don't know where it all started. I don't know where it went wrong. Cause we was like, we was like this, you know, we was both like down that black woman grind. And then he would just like, I don't know. He just switched up on me. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I've never liked a white woman in my life. Actually I used to, but like I said, you saved me. You made me like, just change the way I think my entire mindset. And I, I thank you a lot for that Dr. Lamar, really. No. But I just, I don't know what to tell my friend. I don't know where you switched up. I think it was like, maybe ninth, 10th grade, but he just hasn't been the same since. Wow. I hope he come out of it, but if he don't, brother, we might got to free him up. What else is going on uh, with our people out there where you at in Washington? What's the challenges for us? What, what's the challenges for the young black males? Honestly, I mean, at least from what I've seen, it's not like too crazy out in Bremerton, you know what I'm saying? It's more of a mix. There are like a lot of like, Fake black men, not fake, but all like a lot of black men out there act like thugs. You know what I'm saying? It's like, mm -hmm. I don't know. They like, they like, they fit themselves into the stereotypes of like white people give us. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I don't know. As a black man, it just hurts to see that because like a lot of these people ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, just a lot of fake thugs out there. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. Like, I mean, I'm really young, so I haven't seen anything too crazy. But like, you know. I don't know. I got you, man. Thanks for tapping in, young brother. Be safe out there. I hey, hope to meet you. I got you. Hey, thank you, Dr. Lamar. I'm going a, I'm to a try and save my friend from the trap, all right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Black Queens forever. Black Queens forever. Snow bunnies yes, never. Yes, sir. All right, God. All right, I'll talk to you later. Love. I got to get back out to Portland and what Seattle. Where are my Seattle Africans? It's time for me to come back to Seattle. No, that's okay. No, you're good. I just, because I, I had to send something to Andrea, too. Is she in the office? I only, because Christian beat this stuff in the action. I knew it. I knew it didn't work. But then they helped him get in last week before I left, right? And he's like, dude. <laughs> For some reason, when he at locked into his ass login now, it says, welcome. So he just needs a deck sheet, and so I, I sent her a message. Her. Just, just, if, I, if she somehow can, they said she still has access.